Unless you've been on a cave in Mars the last six months, you've probably been aware of, of what's gone down with Bud Light. It was the biggest beer in the U.S. for years. But after a marketing campaign involving a controversial trans influencer named Dylan Mulvaney, sales instantly went as flat as a three-day-old lager. People like Kid Rock started shooting up cans of Bud Light. Customers posted videos of themselves pouring it down the drain. And some bars and stores just stopped selling it altogether. But now, one member of the Budweiser beer family is trying to spin the bottle back around. Joining me now, Anheuser-Busch Dynasty heir and author of Family Reigns, the extraordinary rise and epic fall of a family dynasty, Billy Bush. Billy, thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure, Tom. Thank you for having me on. Now, Billy, I, I saw you during all this controversy, and you criticized Anheuser-Busch, and I was surprised, and I said, hey, what's going on here? And then, uh, well, why don't you tell me, what, what is your take on this marketing disaster? Well, you know, I wrote the book Family Reigns, and um, I realized uh, just how hard uh, my family and my ancestors worked, my great-grandfather, my grandfather, my father, and on down the line, and um, how they built the company. And they built it through being inclusive. They built it through staying out of politics. They didn't want to alienate one side against the other. And uh, they built it on American values, you know, of quality and strength and patriotism. And um, that's what it was all about. That's how Budweiser became so strong. And then later on, Bud Light became strong in that respect, in that manner, I should say. And so, yeah, I mean, it, it was it's um, it was an easy thing for InBev to keep the ships um, going straight. But of course, they had to they they veered off to another another direction and it hurt them really bad. Now, when I first heard you criticize Anheuser-Busch, InBev, I said, wait a minute, this guy from within the company is criticizing him? But you're no lo longer associated with the company. But I was reading somewhere that you wouldn't mind maybe getting back in control. Do you have any hopes of maybe getting back in control of the company? Well, you know, not necessarily the company. I think the company would cost billions and billions of dollars. I know they paid $52 billion when they took over the company back in 2008 from Anheuser-Busch from my family. And um, it's worth probably a lot more today because they've built onto it and they've added more products. But um, absolutely, the Budweiser Brands, which was started by my great-grandfather, Adolphus Bush, it talks about in the book where he came up with a recipe and, and how he started Budweiser and the innovation, the innovation ways of, of how he got it rolling and, um, and distributed it throughout America and how patriotic he was and all the leaders of the Bush the led Anheuser Bush, the Bush family leaders, and uh, and so yeah, I think to be able to get the Budweiser family brands back, I think would be amazing. I think uh, putting that in the Bush, giving that back to the Bush family, selling it to me would be a win-win situation not only for me and the Bush family, but it would also be a win situation for InBev at this point. You know, they just sold off eight other brands not too long ago. Uh, people are losing jobs right and left. It's really sad to see not only at the brewery, but also at the, at the wholesale level, people are losing their jobs. Um, and so, yeah, I, I don't know, you know, maybe they have to go through a little bit more pain before they'll ever sell it off. But, uh, you know, I'd love to get it back in the family and, um, and make it America's beer once again, like it used to be. Billy, do you drink Budweiser? When was the last time you had a Bud? You know, I still I still drink a Budweiser now and then. It's um, been a while since I've had one. Um, I've been drinking a lot of Yingling lately, and and uh, we have our own beer. We have Bush Family Brewing and Distilling, where we're br brewing our own beer out at our farm. We're inviting people out, the public, out to our farm to try our beer. It's a craft brewery out there, and the food, and and have the one wonderful farm atmosphere that they can uh, be a part of. So I drink mainly those beers. But, yeah, Budweiser is still a great beer. There's no doubt about it. Um, it's just sad that uh, InBev has led it down the direction that they've led it. You know, when you were in college, I think you were still involved with the company then, right? Did you get all the Bud you could drink? I mean, did you get a little crazy in college like most college kids did? <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, I used to, I drank a lot of Budweiser. I, you know, um, I will say I drank a lot of Budweiser. We always had it around us. Um, we learned to drink responsibly. I, uh, my dad, August Bush Jr., better known as Gussie, who ran the company from 1946 to 1974. Um, you know, he he never liked drunkenness. So uh, if we were if we ever drank too much, he, we'd hear about it. But um, no, we always had beer around. We were always allowed to drink some, even. You know, even as young um, kids, 
as long as we didn't overdo it, and that was the main thing that we had to I do. I think we just made headlines, Billy. Even as kids, that's <laughs> put that up on the screen. Well, I'll be honest with you, Tom. We were weaned on it. I mean, the first thing that uh, that that we always heard was our mom and dad gave us one little drop of Bud of Budweiser when we were born. <laughs> And, um, you know, look at me. It didn't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Billy, thanks so much. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.